Check that bruiser out, guys. That's what you call a brown crab. That's an absolute beauty of a crab. Look at it. Look at the claw on it. It's a beauty. Check the size of that out. And this a female. That is a cracking, cracking lobster. Check how big that is, guys. That is an absolute stonker of a lobster. Welcome back to Inglorious Fishing. It's currently a Friday afternoon. I've just finished work and we're going to go and do a little bit of crab and lobster fishing. Now, my pots have been out for about six days. We baited them up with some black bream that we caught on the previous video. And I'm hoping that all the crab pots and the traps are going to be full of lobsters and full of brown crab. That's what we're after. Preferably lobsters or maybe even a big crayfish, but I've never had a crayfish yet. But they are around and hopefully one day I will get them. But till then, we're not going to muck around. I haven't got a lot of time. Let's get straight onto the pots and let's see what we've got. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're up to the first pot. And first pot. They're hooked down on the reef at the moment. What a day to come lobster fishing. It's Friday afternoon, I've finished work, and it's absolutely beautiful out here, guys. You cannot beat this for lobster fishing. Lobster and crab fishing in this beautiful weather. It's fantastic, absolutely great. I might do a little bit of squid fishing tonight. But till then, we're gonna get these crab pots up and hopefully they're full of brown crab and lobsters. Not a lot in there, a couple of spider crabs and a couple of brown crabs. Nothing great in there at all. Let's hope that's not a sign of things to come, that's for sure. And not, not in there, just a really nice brown crab in that one. I'll take you off the mat and give you a show, guys. So guys, first pot, it's just spider crabs, a nice big brown edible crab there. Look at the size of him. He's an absolute beauty and just some small spider crabs there, females and males. And then the second pot, it's exactly the same again, guys. A few small spider crabs there. We've got a male shanker down there. He's gonna to be too small. But yeah, I'll get them out. So it's all just small spider crabs like this. We'll just empty all these out. One, two, three, four. Look at that bruiser. That's what you call a nice brown crab. Those are the ones you want. Big claws, solid as anything. Absolute beauty of a male brown crab. That is a lovely size brown crabs. Check the claws on him. Check the claws on him. Absolute massive claws. Beauty that is. You can see some of the tapeworms, some of the worms which are on its shell. So you know it's had a pretty long shell, but that's fantastic. That's the only keeper we got in the ink wells. Like I said, I'm gonna bake these up and we'll get onto that next set. You beauty. So guys, just before we get onto the next set, I just wanna show you these. A guy, gentleman gave these to me. They're to put in the ink wells. And you stick those in the neck and it stops all the lobsters coming out. So we're gonna put these in and see if they do any better. And the next time we pull them, hopefully we get a few lobsters in the inkwells. We can only try. Good contraption, that beauty. Let's give them a go. Get onto that next set, guys. So we're now on the second string. I've put this the other side of the reef. I used to get a couple of lobsters this side, but I haven't tried this side for a while. So we'll try it and see what we get. You never know. Well, that first pot there is just full of small brown crabs and spider crabs. Not no good to no one. Hopefully the second pot does a bit better. It's an absolute mess of brown crab. It's a hoochie house of brown crab, guys. Let's give you a show of them. So first pot there, guys. Just full of brown crab and spider crabs. That one's a keeper. That one there, that's a nice crab. So 
we'll keep him that's a beauty and all those are going to be too small so we're going to get those back and in the second pot it's the same again it's just an abundance of brown crabs spider crabs and velvet swimming crabs so uh yeah we're empty these and we'll get on to the next set Okay, let's get on to that next set. Big hole in the side of the track, guys. Something's obviously broken its way out. I'll have to fix that with a couple of cable ties. So nothing in the first pot, hopefully get a few more in the second. And that's very poor, it's just a few small brown crabs. It's not even worth showing you guys because there's nothing in the other pot, so it's just one, two, one spider crab, and another brown crab, no good. I'm going to bake both of these up, we'll get them out, we'll get onto the fourth set and once we've done that we'll move over to the others. Get to that next set. Now this fourth set guys, we played this a little bit deeper, right on the edge of this reef, so I haven't played here before. I don't know what we're going to get, but it's worth a shot. So anything up here, I don't know. So it's a bit of a surprise to me. Hopefully it fishes really well and we'll stick the pots back here, but you never know. I just love being out fishing. I absolutely love it. This is where all my stress and my worries goes out in the sea. Oh, we got nothing. First pot. Absolutely zilch. Nothing in the first pot. Well, not a lot in there. I might as well keep you on the belt, guys. Oh, we've got a lobster. That's it. Oh, you alright? Keep her. Got brown crab. Another brown crab, no good, but one lobster, guys. So I'm happy with that. You beauty, let's get these out and get on to the next set. Lobo wobbos. Right, let's head to over to the other side and get onto those next five strings. So fifth set, we haven't done very well at the moment on the lobster front, but hopefully things could start to pick up. You never know, and hopefully you might get a few more brown crab. Oh, big lobster. A nice big lobster in here. You beauty. In the inkwell. What, you don't crush any claws? That's lovely, that's a big lobster. That is a big, big, big lobster, that guys. That's a beauty. Problem is, it's a female. I don't know if she's got eggs or not. I haven't been able to have a look on the underside of her yet. But we'll have a look. Ah, oh, just a few spider crabs in there. Let's give you a show of in the pot. So guys, first pot, brown edible crabs. I don't think any of them are gonna be big enough. We might have one in there that's big enough. I'm not sure, but in the second parlour, or in the inkwell, check that out. That is a lobster. Check the size of that out. And it's a female. That is a cracking, cracking lobster. Check how big that is, guys. That is an absolute stonker of a lobster. That's an absolute beauty. It's got a little bit of a small arm, because it's been growing it back, but that's fantastic. Number two keeper, we'll have that. You absolute beauty. That is an absolute dancer. That's a banging lobster. Right, well, I'm gonna chuck him down there. Up there. And we've got a few more brown edible crabs, guys. So I'm gonna sort through these. 
we'll get on to the next set. So the same again guys, because we've got the ink wells, I'm going to put these in and we'll see if we catch any more lobsters on the next trip. It'd be interesting, so I'm going to put them in, give them a go anyway. Go to that next one. <coughs> so guys, this is the sixth set. We've got three more strings to do after this one. I just hope we get a couple more lobsters. They haven't been really doing well on the lobster front recently. Don't know, maybe it's because it's winter. They've all seemed to have gone off, but like I say, hopefully you get one in this string. Not very good, just small brown crabs. Very strange, we've got no holes. Well, I've got nothing in the first pot, guys, but I'll give you a show of the second pot. Just brown crabs. So as you see, guys, just a load of brown edible crabs. Too small. That one's too small. They're all too small, guys, so I'm just going to empty these out, get them out, and we'll get onto that next set. Not a lot today, that's for sure. Get onto that next one. First pot's here. Not very good. Just brown crab, brown crab, brown crab, and they're all too small. Oh, there's a big, big lobster in here. That's a beauty. Watch your hand, mate. That's a beauty lobster. Woo! Right, guys, I'll get you off the mountain, give you a show of this one. He's a beast. So, everyone, the first pot's there. We got four brown edible crabs. And they are not big enough, nowhere near. But check that out. Check the size of that one out. You beauty, it's a big male. You can tell by the first two appendages there, they're hard right next to my finger and the rest are all soft like that, the swimmerettes. That is a big old bruiser of a male, guys. He is not messing around, check him out. Look at the size of him. What a stunker of a lobster. He looks absolutely beautiful. Check him out. Check the claws on him, check how big his body is. That is an absolute dancer. I'm happy with that, you beauty. Right, let's bake him up and get on to the next set. We want some more like him. to those last two. Not very good. Well guys, I'm happy to have had that big clonker absolutely over the moon. So, uh, yeah, it's a big lobster. It must be about three pound, that lobster. Definitely a big lobster. Just a bunch of brown edible crabs again. That's it. Brown edible crab city. Let's give you a show of inside the pot. So guys, first pot, brown edible crabs and spider crab. Now that female, that's going to be big enough. So that's a brown crab. But those are all going to be too small. In the second pot, that one's going to be big enough. That's a keeper. And now nah, all these are too small. We have one keeper there but the rest are too small. Uh, yeah, too small guys. So I'm gonna bake these up and get onto that last set. That's 
Okay, let's get on to that last set. Four. Not very good. Just all small little crabs. Brown crab, velvet crabs, lobster. Uh, Spider crab, you name it, we got it in there, just no lobsters, so. The lobsters certainly aren't around at this time of year. They seem to go out in the deep. Got a nice big brown crab, that's a beauty. It's a nice big brown crab. Right, last pot, let's show you what's in them. Oh, it's first pot. Too small. Spider crabs and brown crabs. They're just all too small, so they all go back. It's a good thing about crab fishing. It's very sustainable because the crabs you don't catch, they don't die. You just chuck them back and they get bigger, you know? And that's the way it should be. We've also got velvet crab hiding in there. Get him out. Come on, buddy. Evil little things, them. I hate them. And in the second pot, check that bruiser out, guys. That's what you call a brown crab. That's an absolute beauty of a crab. Look at it. Look at the claw on it. It's a beauty. Got a couple of beauties today, guys. There's another female in there. That's a keeper. And the rest are all too small. That is a lovely crab. Check him out. That's an absolute buster of a crab, that is. Absolute buster. He's got very strong claws. Look at him holding on to the pot. He is an absolute giant, he is. And he knows it. It's an absolute beauty. I'm going to get him in a separate tub. I don't want him killing no one. So he's in there. Look how big he is. He barely fits in my pocket. And then all we've got is a couple of small spider crabs, guys. So I'm going to empty these. We'll bake them out. We'll start making our way in. Okay guys, start making our way in. So guys, instead of going in, I actually realized that I've probably got about 20 minutes. So I've just come up to the pipe just for 15 minutes, just to see if we can catch any bream or stuff like that for pot bait for next time. I just thought I'd give it a go while, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a fish. Fish on. Yep, fish on. Oh, yep. That's all right. Nice head bangs. Cool, we got three. Three in. Three bream at once. One. Well, that's a good start. A few bream there. Get straight back down, see if we can get some more. There's lots of markings up here, so I can't see anything. I've got water all over my shades. I ain't got time to clean them, guys. Let's get that down. Let's get some more of these bream. They're still marking on the sounder, so we've got about 10, 15 minutes. We can try and get a few fish. Him. <laughs> yep, for sure. Oh, yeah, I've got him. Another two. Get them in the pocket. One. Two. I just snapped one of my hooks off. Bollocks. Right, let's get some bait on. So I've got the feathers on, we'll go down again. We've already got five fish for the pots for next time, so let's 
great. The marking seemed to have stopped. We come off the mark a bit. Still bring there though. Fish on. Oh yeah, good fight. Oh, it's a big one. It's a nice one. What have you, mate? Another beautiful, beautiful black bream, beautiful dorsal fin, beautiful silver on him. Look at that, what a shiner. Right, let's go up for another drift. Okay. Gonna get these back down. Like I say, we've probably got about eight minutes, seven minutes till we gotta go, so. We leave five minutes before we're meant to get in, and we should be all right heading home, getting in, and getting into that gate. Be nice just to get a couple more though, that's for sure. We're definitely on them. Yeah, fish on. Straight back down. Great fun, the old bream fishing. I absolutely love it. Fish on. Yes. Oh, he's still on. Another little beauty. Get as many as we can in these five minutes. It's hot. Oh yeah. Another one bites the dust. Well, I reckon I've got enough time for one more drop. Quick get it down there, see if we can get one more. Then we're going to start making our way in. We don't want to miss the gate, so. Fish on. Yes, come on, you beauty. One. Well, we've managed to collect 10 fish then within the space of five, 10 minutes, guys. So we got half the pot full for back bait. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start making our way in now. Let's not miss this gate.
everyone, we're back in port. The boat's all cleaned down. I've already got rid of the crabs. We had three giant brown edible crabs, guys, which is absolutely fantastic. And to top it off, we had these two beauties. Look at the size of him. He is absolutely massive, guys. That is a lovely lobster, male and a female. Two absolute beauties there. So we didn't do too bad. We didn't do amazing, but we didn't do too bad at all, guys. I'm quite happy with that. With the brown crabs that we had, the big giants, and these big giant lobsters, guys, I'm more than happy. So if you like this channel, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. It really helps if you subscribe and hit that bell. And if you hit the bell, you never miss one of my notifications. And uh, hopefully you do that, and we'll see you on the next one. It's Danny from Inglorious. Lobo Wobbos, baby. See you next time.